Introduction to Systems of Equations. Alashma. All right, well, we know you're so in love with equations that you're going to be thrilled to learn there are whole systems of <gasps> Well, but before you start crying into your algebra textbook, they're really much more harmless than they sound. In fact, if you have one equation with variables, and then at least one other equation with the same variables, well, that's it. You've got yourself a system of equations. And breathe. All right, well, these can be used to compare any two or more things that have little well, stuff in common. Like, if you wanted to compare your savings account with your little brother's savings account to see who's a better saver. If you know how much you both started with, and the rate at which you're both saving or compounding your investments, well, you can determine whether he'll ever have as much money in his account as you do. And if not, you'll be able to lord the fact over him for all eternity. Oh, man, you guys are competitive. So, say we've got two linear equations. 3x plus 2y equals 18, and 5x minus y equals 17. All we'd need to do to solve this system of equations is to find a value of x and a value of y, which will make both of these equations true. That is, for whatever x's you have over here, or whatever y's you have, they're going to produce the same answer over here. Well, the simplest way is to try to get one of the variables all by its lonesome. Well, here the y term in the second equation is already by itself, so let's start there. We can add y to both sides to get 5x equals 17 plus y. Then subtract 17 from both sides to get 5x minus 17 equals y. Well, from there we can take the quantity 5x minus 17 and plug it into the y term in the first equation. So that gives us 3x plus 2 times the quantity 5x minus 17 equals 18. Well, distribute the 2 and this simplifies to 3x plus 10x minus 34 equals 18. Well, our 3x and 10x total 13x, and if we add 34 to both sides, we get 13x equals 52. Divide both sides by 13 and x equals, yep, 4. Nice easy number. Boom. So we can plug 4 into the x term in either equation to get the value of the y term. Well, 3 times 4 plus 2y equals 18. So 12 plus 2y equals 18. Subtract 12 from both sides, then 2y equals 6. <laughs> Divide both sides by 2, and y equals, yep, 3. Just like that, we've solved our system of equations. All right, once you get the hang of these puppies, you can graph them, yeah, just like this. And that way you can determine if there is a single solution, infinite solutions, or no solution at all. Well, in the case of your little brother, the best solution might be eh, to let him have this one. Goodness knows, uh, you beat him at everything else. <laughs> what did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke. But if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmoop.com. And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.